exhale. This is a flexibility core class. This class will be going right up on the website when it's done, okay? All right, deep breath in, exhale again. Hold your head all the way up. And release. And last time, deep breath in, exhale all the way up, hold. And release, knees on the ground, arms up in the air, hold. Drop your knees right, arms left. Up and over to the other side. Two more, up and over. And then one more, take the knees all the way up, drop them down, take that lower foot, place it up onto the leg and hold. And just let it drop down. And slowly come up into figure four, pull that in, exhale. Pull yourself up to your legs as you pull your legs in. And release. Okay, this time I'm going to have you pull your legs in. Keep your head on the ground and use your elbow to push your knee away. Hold. This is a stretch for your hip. Just let it stretch. Now drop it down, cross it completely over, grab your calves or your ankles, and pull it to your chest and hold. Hands up to the ceiling, feet on the floor. Now drop your knees to the right this time, arms to the left, hold. Place that lower foot up onto the thigh, pull it down, and slowly let it sink. Don't hold too hard. Let this become a more natural stretch for you. And remember, one side you'll feel differently from the other side, so. Bring the arms back up. Hug those legs in, bring your head up as you hug them in. Hold. And then release it. Deep breath in. Exhale, this time pull the legs in. Head stays down. Elbow pushes the opposite leg away. Hold. Drop the foot to the ground. Cross it all the way over. Grab for your calf or your ankles. Put all the way in. It's always nice to start with a really thorough hip stretch. That way when we're doing things with our legs, you'll feel that clicking in your hip. Hopefully, right? Nice, stretch your legs all the way out, hands over head, deep breath in. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, take your hand behind your head, take a deep breath in, exhale, curl your chin all the way up, hold, and roll it down, starting with a nice neck stretch, try that again, deep breath in, exhale, hold it, and then all the way down. Last one, deep breath in, exhale, curl it in. It's not so much about the height on this one, it's 
feeling the stretch in that neck. And relax it down. Beautiful. Take your hands out into a V. Take your legs out, be an X with your body. Take your right hand and your left leg, go all the way up, and then come about 65% width of the way down. Okay, this depends on your back. Okay, but obviously the further you go down, the more difficult this, this becomes. And it's not a difficult movement, but it's a good way to start waking up the obliques. External obliques on one side, internal on the other. They're in different places on that core. Okay, let's get uh, 20 of these. I'm on six, seven. If you feel the clicking, don't go down as far with the leg or reposition it. We're all tight in our hips. That clicking will happen at some point. I got five more. And one, good. Drop that leg, slide it all the way down. Arm goes back up and let's switch to the other side. Right leg, left arm. So we want 20 reps, not sets, reps. People tend to confuse those two terms. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, eight more. This is a good way to wake up those abs. right and left, allowing that lower leg to come down to the ground before we go up and over and switch sides. And I'm just loosening up your hip now. This is a real gentle hip opener. Good, and one more. And then bring it back up. Slide those legs back out. Right ankle over the left, hands behind your head. We've got three, two, one, and release. Three, two, one, and release. Three, two, one, that's three repetitions. Three, two, one, that's four. And every time you say three, two, one, it's a climb a little bit higher. Seven, we're keeping the hips out of this one. We're working on that superior portion. All of these little muscle fibers connect up on the rib cage. It tends to be a lot stronger. So we're gonna fatigue it a little quicker. Good. Three, two, one. Good, let's try four more of these. One more, and relax it down. Get your hand over your head, toes in the opposite direction. Hold. Good, hands back on the head. Now take the left ankle over the right, and let's repeat this. Three, two, one, and down. You'll notice that you feel a little differently. Maybe that right side is a little more fatigued than that left. Feel that ab wake up. Take it over onto your side. 
take your right knee on my right side, so my right knee's kind of come up like that. I'm gonna grab for my left foot, keeping my leg alignment with my body. I'll pull my knee back, and that opens up my quad, and the further the knee goes behind the hip, the more you'll feel it in that hip flexor. So just hold that. And the more you hold it, the longer you hold it, the more you'll feel it open up, okay? And relax it down. Come up onto your side. You can come up on your elbow and bend your knee like that, okay? Because we're gonna do a side plank. You feel stronger. You can straighten both legs. Hand can go anywhere like that. And if you feel really strong, you can go up on your right arm, straightening it out. We've got 15 to 20 up and down. Go at your own pace. We're all at different strength levels. I'm gonna go five more. And 20, and I'm gonna slowly drop it down. Yep. And I'm gonna come back down and grab my foot, and I'm gonna actually stretch out again. And I'm gonna take that same leg, come straight up, and pull it in towards my body. You can grab from the outside and hold it. I'm cramping up in my toes. I'm going to pull my toes in towards my shin. Good. And now I want you to take it down, face down. Arms are bent. Fingers are splayed. Deep breath in. Exhale all the way up. Hold. And I've got a six pose, which is opening up my abs right here where we're just working. All those little tendon fibers attaching to the rib cage and then relax it down. I'm also, deep breath in, exhale, opening up my chest and my shoulders and my neck. You don't want to swing your head after, you want to be cautious, so hold that. And then release it, deep breath in, last time, all the way up, hold. Good, and then you're gonna roll over onto the opposite side, the left side, I'm gonna turn so you can see what I'm doing. And so your left knee should be your lower knee. You want to bring it up, okay, and grab that right foot. Keep it in alignment with the body. You don't want the knee up here and pull it behind the body, okay? So you're getting a nice stretch of the hip and the quad. The quad will open up first, and then the hip flexor will open up. So just hold that. Nice, and remember, the longer you hold it, the more it's gonna open. Now you can straighten that top leg, keep that lower leg bent if you want. Your arm can go up, your hands can stay here, or you can straighten them both out. So just find your position. Whatever you did on the other side, repeat on this side, okay? Down and up. This is what I did on the other side, so I'm gonna do that again, and I did 20 reps. down, bend that lower leg, that left leg, grab that right foot, stretch it back, getting that hip again. I just love the stretch. And then take it up. Now I'm going to grab it from the outside and I'm going to stretch it towards my body. You feel that stretch? This actually gets the outside of that calf and that hip by holding that leg. The closer you get to that foot, the deeper the stretch is going to go, but you don't want to force it, obviously, right? Okay, so take that leg in, come to the supine position, which is facing up. Okay, take your legs all the way up. Your arms will be parallel to your body. This is my favorite. We do this probably every class. We're going to lift up, and then we'll come forward and down. So we combine two movements here, all the way up and then down. 
three, pushing up to that ceiling. Notice it's not a jerky movement, okay? A lot of people try to jerk, which is the low back. We want to really tap into these muscles here, especially as we lift. We've got 20 reps, go at your own pace. Boy, am I feeling this. I love this movement. I feel it all the way from the top of my quad to my rib cage. I'm on 15. I've got five more. squeeze 18. You're going to use the palms of your hand. That's okay. Nobody's perfect. And 20. Whew. Bring it down. Slide it out. Hands up. Deep breath in. Whew. Take your legs back up. Bend your knees. Grab the outside of your legs. Happy baby. And just go back and forth. Or I should say side to side and just stretch out. This is kind of a happy movement. <laughs> like, I used to think this was funny, but I really, you get your inner thigh in this um, movement and the rocking back and forth gives your hips a nice little massage, your pelvis, which is nice. All right, and then relax that. Take your legs back up, okay? Let's do a little Pilates here. Now you can lift your head up to make it more of a fitness move, or you can keep your head down and keep your arms parallel or your hands underneath your hip. Just depends on what you wanna do. So one leg at a time comes out and back up. We've got 30 of these guys, so it'll be 15 per leg. Keep the legs as straight as possible. And that will tap more into that hip and ab. Now, if your head or your neck gets tired, just drop it down, but try and keep going. Good. I'm on 20. I've got 10 more. 21. And then we'll do one more. Good. Drop the feet down. Keep the knees bent. Arms parallel to the body. Push up into a nice bridge. Walk your feet in. Open up that hip flexor that we just worked. Clasp your hands behind your back and open up the chest. So we're opening up the core in this movement, which is what we just stepped into. This is great, especially if you have hip issues. If you can handle this movement or even parts of it, it's a great way to open up hips. Hold. Good, and then relax it down. Take the right leg, you want the right ankle on the left knee. We're gonna crunch up for 15 center. Do some traditional crunches here for that rectus, but by bending the knees, we tap into this and we cause a little contraction. Remember, it's one long muscle just attaches and, it's, and it inserts on different ends. Eight. Good, and at 15, take your right arm down on the floor, cross over left shoulder. If you're pulling on your neck like this, you're doing it wrong, you're gonna hurt that neck, okay? You wanna cross using that shoulder. Now remember, 
remember, abs are made in the kitchen. If you're following me online with my training, I'm going to be talking about that soon. You can work out all you want, but if you sabotage it in the kitchen, you're shooting yourself in the foot, okay? So make sure you pay attention to what you're eating. And relax it down. Hands behind your head. Flex that foot on the floor. Come up, lift it to this, down, heel touches. Up, squeeze in, down, heel. Up, this is three, down, heel. Up, four, down, heel. Up, five. Feeling those abs yet? I am. Six. Up, seven. Up, eight. Up, nine. Up, ten. Come on, we got five more. Up, eleven. Drop it down, take that leg, straighten it up to the ceiling, and cross and pull it in. I'm sorry, no cross, just crunch up. sides. Good. Drop it down. Hand comes down. Cross over for 15. the shoulder area and sit it back in the child pose. Hold it like this. Drop your forehead down. Good. Come up onto all fours. You got it, guys. Cat cow. And release. Yeah, this is just opening up. Every time you do that lazy cow, you'll feel that ab. Hold it. Let 
this left knee kind of drop out to the side a little bit, okay? It's gonna want to do it, and it actually enhances the stretch that goes from the inner thigh across the groin into that hip. Hip flexor is this right here. Now, if you're really daring, grab for your foot, your ankle, your shin, your pants, whatever you can grab. I like to grab from the inside because I don't want to stress on my knee, but that stretch is amazing. You can do it against a wall. You can put your foot up against a wall. It's a great way to get a good stretch in. And beginners, always keep your hands on the ground. Good, switch. Opposite leg comes forward. Walk your hands out, drop left hip. Let the right knee kind of slide out to the side as much as it needs to. Don't force it, just go with it. Hold the stretch. And grab that back foot, ankle, shin, pants, whatever you can grab, just to open up that. You're gonna feel the quad first and foremost when you do this stretch. And then as the quad releases, it moves into the hip flexor. Nice, we're moving into our plank series. If you get tired during any point in this planking, drop your knees, take a break, and come back to it, okay? First thing we're gonna do is start in a plank and hold a plank. Now you can use your elbows or straight arms, it's up to you, but remember, the closer your legs are together, the more difficult it is, and the harder it is on low back. So if you feel it in your low back, bring your legs out, okay? Abs tight and just hold. Abs tight. Good. Slowly bring that right leg to the center and lift that left leg by squeezing the glute and just holding that. Nice. Drop it. Good. Now bring the left leg more into the center and raise the right leg up. Hold. Drop both legs, take them a little wider, and take the right arm out and reach forward in front of you. Try it. This hip's gonna go like this. Bring it back down. And bring it in. Switch arms. And bring it in, hold it here, come to your elbows. Bring both feet together, hold it, hips up. Lift that left leg. Feet together, right leg. Feet together, just hold. seconds. Drop the knees, sit it back. Take your knees out wide, toes touching, hands above your head, walking away from your body, and hold. Nice, folks. Take it onto your back. Good. Take your left leg in, hold it, take your left arm on the floor, and take that across your body, and hold. Come back center, grab that right leg with the left arm, take it across the body, hold. Nice. Take your hands over your head. We're gonna go into a boat. There is a lot of variations. We can come all the way up like this. We can bend our knees or keep them straight and then go back down. Up and lift, okay? If you don't want to do that, you can just keep your feet on the ground and go forward. 
You can alternate the knees, whichever one you want to do. But let's do a total of 20. your number, relax it down, hands over your head and just relax. Good, bring your hands around, legs up. If you need to, put your hands under your hips, otherwise put them behind your head and lift up. We're going to go down very slowly for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and lift. Repeat. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Good. Keep it going. We lost Tracy. Was trying to figure out where she was. And lift. Ten. See if we can anywhere from ten to fifteen of these. Chin is up. And lift. Keep it going. And up. If this bothers your back or your hip, just to, don't go down too far, okay? Just kind of listen to your body. Always modify the range of motion accordingly. Stretch. I notice my hamstrings are pretty tight. Let's take that left leg all the way up and grab it with the right arm. And the reason I go the opposite arm to leg, because most people have turnouts, which means this is really tight. So I try to pull it back in and keep in alignment with my shoulders. If you've got a bad hip, it's usually because you've got a weak gluteus medius, a tight piriformis, and a tight IT. This one stretch by turning the toes, see how they turn out like that? Turn my leg in, get a great stretch as I pull it in toward my body and just hold it. Ooh, that feels good. Yeah, just hold it. Circle that ankle around a little bit, too. Nice. Take that leg all the way out. I'm taking my right arm, I'm bringing it down, and I'm bringing my leg out. You might only be able to do variation. Maybe you got to hug your leg like this, okay? I'm trying to stretch that hamstring, but by keeping the leg straight, I get the other part of the ham, which we call strings of the hamstrings, and they attach past the knee down by the uh, calf. But you'll feel that inner thigh in this one too. Just hold it. and then bring it back center, and let's just switch to the other side. Light comes all the way up, hold. Yeah, and then circle it. Now remember, you're grabbing it with the opposite hand, keeping in alignment with the shoulders, hold. I'm looking at my toes, and they are so god-awful. <laughs> Well, at least I stopped running without socks. That, now my feet are looking a little better. All right, guys, take that leg with the same side arm. Now this one's going to go down. And then just bring it out to the side. Remember, you can hug it, do whatever you need to do. 
It may not go down this far. It's not a big deal. Just listen to your body. And just hold. Oh, I feel that on the right side. Sure, my inner thigh. Nice. Now bring it back in. Hold onto that foot. Grab the other foot. Soles of the feet together. Deep breath in. Exhale. Pull it all the way up. Hold. And then relax it. Now I want you to roll three times along the spine. Two. This is a great little massage. And one. Good. Bring it all the way up and have your legs all the way out. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, reach for the toes and just hold. Take the hands around the back, fingertips point in, lift the hips up, open up the chest and the hip flexor. Kind of what we, what we were doing earlier with our bridge. This is a modified bridge. You feel this a lot more in the shoulders and chest. Hold. Slowly drop the hips down, reach again for those toes. I kind of clasp them from the outside. I don't know if you can see me, but hold all the way over. Got it? And then go all the way back around. Fingertips bring 